Our 2020 senior class, uh, it's hard to find a, a place to start um, when you start to reflect on uh, what they've meant to our program, uh, what they've done here um, in the classroom, and just the things that they've accomplished to, to put themselves in a position to, um, to really be proud of, of their time here at Liberty and, and um, not just you know, the individual accomplishments, but what we were able to accomplish as a program. Uh, Cam Locklear arrived here um, and, and got to play every day. Um, he's been a, a rock for us at shortstop. Um, just incredible um, um, consistency um, with what he's done at shortstop and just been a staple of our program. Um, kind of maybe a little bit of a face of our program, if you will. Um, those that have been around our program for the last four years, um, everybody um, remembers Cam um, in a way that um, probably uh, a diving play at shortstop or um, a grand slam this past um, 2020 season. Um, there's probably um, a moment that if you follow Liberty Baseball, you remember a, a big time play or a big time performance from Cam. So we're excited he's back and, and looking forward to um, more of those um, unbelievable plays at shortstop and, and big hits that he just seems to have a knack to get for us. Uh, Garrett Price, um, just a, a really neat story. Uh, Garrett came here um, and, and played shortstop um, in the fall. Uh, didn't pitch some, his arm was bothering him, um, and uh, we challenged him as a coach, uh, as a coaching staff uh, at the end of the fall and told him after the, end of the, uh, after the fall of his freshman year, hey, if you want to play, um, you're going to have to come back and try to help us on the mound. Uh, not only did he come back ready to go, but uh, he, he quickly um, just kind of cemented himself as uh, one of the most reliable pitchers I know I've ever coached uh, coming out of the bullpen for us. Uh, the consistency of Garrett Price is just remarkable. Um, he has been in our rotation some. Um, he's been able to go long, long relief stints, and he's been able to close games for us. And um, you know, just to have that uh, game start, knowing that he was available in the bullpen, is something that I know I'm going to miss. But uh, a tremendous kid and somebody that, um, again, has shown all the qualities you would want in a student athlete. More importantly, a, a Liberty student athlete. Um, Trey McDyer has been. Um, just phenomenal in his uh, approach to every single day. Um, just the ultimate professional. Uh, Trey played every day as a freshman. Uh, had an unbelievable freshman year for us and uh, probably didn't play as much as he wanted to his, his uh, sophomore and, and, and junior year, but was an everyday play for, player for us this past spring. Um, some big hits, some big moments. Um, I, I'll, always, I'll always remember Trey's versatility and his unselfishness of saying, hey, I'll, I'll play anywhere. and. You know, he's played first, second, third, left, right. Um, he's, he's done a little bit of everything for us. Um, and just the way he goes about his business, the way he practices every day, the type of teammate he is. Um, I, I just I always look forward to seeing Trey every day that he comes down here to the ballpark. And, you know, he's another one that, that graduated early, um, is going to be able to start uh, or has started his master's degree. Um, and he's going to end up, um, you know, being able to finish that here while he's still able to, to continue his baseball career. So um, he's accomplished so much. We're proud of him. We're excited for um, him coming back and, and looking forward to the future um, and seeing what this last year brings him. Uh, ben Highfield's just been a tremendous story for us. His story um, of coming in here and, and not playing much to fighting through that um, for, for us challenging him and, and basically being you know honest with him and telling him, hey, um, you're probably not going to play much this year. And, and he wanted to prove us wrong. And, and boy, did he prove us wrong. Uh, he, he, he finished this past season with um, with a, a chance to, to have an, a, just an unbelievable year for us. Disappointed we didn't get to see that play out. Uh, but then uh, he led our team in, in every offensive category for the 17 games that we did play in 2020. Um, an incredible defender, uh, somebody that um, really made his home at third base, but um, did some really good things for us at second and at first. And another unselfish player that wanted to do whatever it took for our team to win um, and to, to, to say, hey, I'm available um, in whatever role that you want me to be in. Um, I'm committed to being here and being part of this and to finish what I started. And he finished in just such an unbelievable way. He left here with a 3.67 GPA. Um, he's been uh, accepted to a, a pretty exclusive grad program at Duke University. And so he's going to pursue that. Um, and something that um, you know, he has a passion for is, is you know, the things that he does off the field here as well. So he showed tremendous, tremendous leadership for us. And, and we're going to miss that um, and, and miss uh, just seeing him every day. Um, and you know he's another one that, that finished here early and graduated early and you know those things that um, most people don't see with what these kids have done off the field and what they've done in our locker room and what they've done in the classroom have just been fantastic. So 
Um, a tip of the cap from all of us to you 2020 seniors. Um, you guys have left a mark on our program that uh, I will be forever grateful for, and I know your teammates feel the same. So um, looking for the best from you guys, and, and you guys will always be Liberty Flames, and man, are we proud of you.